Members of the community are spending the holiday weekend paying tribute to a Dallas officer killed in the line of duty. Officer Darren Burks was shot and killed Thursday night while sitting in his squad car between calls. Police say the attack targeting him was premeditated. The suspect killed later that night at the end of a police chase. Fox News Dion England live with more on how the loss is affecting the department and the community. Dion. Heather Blake, it has been an outpouring of community support for the family of Officer Darren Burks. That, as the Dallas Police Department moves forward while coping with grief. This is a time to unite and face the realities. When we say we don't know if we're coming home, that's what it re that's the raw reality strong words reflecting strong emotions to be executed on our streets simply because of the uniform he's wearing we need to think about that Dallas Police Association leader Jaime Castro expressing the current pulse of Dallas PD, a department in mourning after what police say was the execution style shooting death of Officer Darren Burks on Thursday and concern for two fellow officers recovering from injuries. He was excited to get out there. We all are when we're, when we're rookies. We're excited. We're happy to get out there and he gave his life. As community members continue to pay their respects, leaving mementos, photos, candles, and more, officers from surrounding departments are also stopping by DPD to lay flowers on the squad car memorial. Air Force veteran, Niall Smith, who never met Officer Burks, was compelled to bring his daughter. I just wanna help her understand patriotism and community and, and just, uh, you know, what the law enforcement does for the community and uh, how it affects us all. Castro describes the mental weight that is reality for the men and women in blue. We need to think about these officers that are out there. And like I said, they're expected to continue to answer your 911 calls. There's no time out. There's no let me take a break. They continue to serve and protect. And on behalf of the listeners of the show, we'd like to present this to you. On Saturday, the Russ Martin Show Listeners Foundation presented a check for $40,000 to the police association's Assist the Officer Foundation, support that will go to Officer Burke's mother. And uh, she can use it however she seems that deems necessary. Meantime, at the police association's headquarters, a somber look at the wall bearing photos of fallen officers. Officers, and the realization that yet another officer Darren Burks will be added. I hate, it upsets me that we have to add another individual to that board, but we're gonna, we're gonna be okay. We, we, we've, held, we've held the line before, we're gonna continue to hold that line. And for those wishing to donate, to Officer Burke's family, one avenue for doing so is through the Dallas Police Association's charitable wing, the Assist the Officer Foundation. That's the very latest live. Blake, back to you. All right, Dion, thanks. There will be a procession tomorrow as Officer Burke's body is moved from the medical examiner's office to a funeral home. We will have coverage of that tomorrow night on Fox 4. You can also find the latest on the investigation on our website, fox4news.com.